a while to make this uh, second English vlog. I did some on my German vlog. You can take one of these buttons up there to uh, go to my German vlog if you understand German. So now I'm going to tell you what happened. Quite recently, some weeks ago, I broke with my spiritual teacher, which I was with for more than 20 years. That's a long time. And um, the main reason for that was that he's still very much in the mode that I call vertical spirituality. A spirituality which someone says, well, down here we are, and then here are the angels and other beings, and then here are the gods, and then way up here maybe there is the non-dual enlightenment, the non-dual being, and well, up here, we don't know. So it's a vertical happening. And um, whatever we think about that, the, what it leads to is a patriarchal social connection, which was very much around my teacher as well. So even though you might regard the horizontal plane as seeing what is, well, then you're still seeing what is with his eyes. Now, this hierarchy in vertical spirituality is very much about power and giving away your own insight of what has value and what not. Actually, you entitle the teacher to tell you what in your life has the highest value or should have the highest value. And you're giving it away. Now we all have an instinct, I would say, or a knowing, a feeling, rocking of what is our highest values. There's no reason to give that away to the teacher. So, really, there's another aspect also that comes with it, is this authority thing. Well, on the web, on the Ken Wilber things, on the Ken Wilber blogs, and so on, and his students, you will find very much a very vertical orientation towards spirituality. Developmental layers you have to go through to come to this utmost realization. Again, a very masculine way to look at things. So, I have been for quite some time now moving away from this view of life and reality towards what I call cooperative spirituality. Cooperative spirituality is a spirituality that is embedded in all of life as we perceive it, because we can't really say anything about how things really are. We only have these senses, and even the spiritual senses, that give us information, connection, relation to all kinds of aspects of the mystery we call reality. So, cooperative spirituality is all about cooperating between people, between people and spirits, if you like, between people and the non dual if you like. The one and the manifold come together. That's what cooperative spirituality is about. The one and the many cooperating. And the many cooperating amongst each other. You and me, all of us, we need to learn to cooperate, communicate, have real hard dialogues. Now, a dialogue 
is something that is not really possible with the spiritual teacher of the old style, of the patriarchal style, of the factual style. Because he, most of it's he, or she knows, and you don't. And from that, you get a kind of a swamping of the area. That means not only knows this person about how to get from a confused mental state to a clear spiritual state, but also have all kinds of advice of all kinds about all kinds of things that they really don't know much about. And actually also about social areas where they're actually way below if you want to look at it vertically, of your own development. Sex, money, politics, you name it, you know it. So, cooperative spirituality, spirituality is about dialogue, it's about seeing God or the light or the Christ or the Buddha within everybody else. So what to do about the hierarchy? Well, I believe in a hierarchy of competence. That means I can be competent in one area, and you might do well if you are interested in coming around in this area. You might do well to communicate with me and see if we can support each other and help each other in this area that I'm competent in. This competence is always only in a certain area of life. So what I propose is a competence hierarchy and a value hierarchy. One of these hierarchies entitle you to rule anybody else. In my view, reality is to be shaped and changed, and change we do need, dialogue and cooperation. Now, this was not any more possible with my spiritual teacher. It was a monologue, not a dialogue. So, that's why I stand right now. The break has an emotional component, and this component is not so sweet. There is sadness there of having to say goodbye to this movement around my teacher. To many old companions, comrades, who will now and this has happened already, will now say, oh, Mushin, you're so out, you don't, you don't belong here anymore. So that is a sad part, because in 20 years you make a lot of friends. But luckily, there is some which are very dear to my heart, what the connection remains. I have no other choice than to go this way. Now I feel much better. So, if you're interested, just look on the website, the wiki, whatever, and find out more about cooperative spirituality. Alright, bye bye for now.